Pull out, treat you good! 101 Freeway in Hollywood. Just look at the cars, backed up for miles, and you won't believe what caused the backup. song Traffic Jam 101, the band Imperial Stars, based in Orange County, sings about the Hollywood Freeway. What if someone had gotten hurt? It's easy to look back and say what if or, and have hindsight, but nothing did happen, thank God. Sky 5 was overhead quickly to capture the singing spectacle. I just want to let everybody know that this was definitely not a publicity stunt to get attention for them. They were trying to raise awareness for homeless children. I know people are mad. We're mad that people aren't really doing much about it. These three guys make up the band Imperial Stars. You may remember on Tuesday they blocked traffic for hours and then were arrested. They stalled traffic on the 101 freeway to put on a concert. You heard about that. Tonight the band members are speaking out. The band that held up the 101 freeway apologizes but say they'd do it again. I'm Ted Chen, my exclusive interview coming up. Quite a headache on the 101 freeway yesterday. Oh yeah, everyone's still talking about this. The Imperial Stars are telling their side of the story, saying that they were just trying to draw attention to a very worthy cause. There are a lot of angry people out there who are pretty angry about what you guys did. Anything you want to say to them? Yeah, uh, actually thank God no one did get hurt or no one did get killed. Orange County residents Christopher Wright, Paul Arabella, and Keith Yaki started their band Imperial Stars a year ago. They call their music a combination of electro pop and rap. And now, traffic brought to a standstill when rockers put on a free concert. It could only happen in Hollywood. A publicity stunt left thousands of drivers caught in a giant traffic jam. 10.20 a.m. to 12 noon. But we have Christopher Wright, uh, Paul Arabella, and Keith Yaki, and I hope I didn't F up your names. There's a couple different ones. There's a lot of hardworking charities out there, but we've got the John Burton Foundation, the uh, Union Rescue Mission, uh, Big Brother, Big Sister. Um, there's one Toys for Tots. Toys for Tots. And later, an apparent publicity stunt ties up traffic on a busy local freeway. Find out what charges the arrested band members are now facing. What group police said was behind it and why. The CHP got the call around 11 this morning, a report of a disabled truck. It was disabled all right. We were signing autographs in our cell on Bibles with people that were just ecstatic to meet the people who did that. You shut down the 101, right? This, this was... For some people, a stunt that they've never seen before, right? So I got to first start by asking, whose idea was it? Was this a collective effort, or was it one of you guys that came up uh, with the idea? As far as ideas, you know, some one of our girlfriends came forward and, and came up with this great idea. She said, "Why don't you guys play down the freeway for to, to raise awareness for the homeless children?" And we we're like, "Play down the freeway? Why don't we stop the freeway?" And uh, we went ahead and moved forward. Mm -hmm. And then, so what kind of? I'm like envisioning this kind of. You guys in a, in a dark room with like these blueprint blueprint <laughs> plans of like here's what we're gonna do. Is that I mean is that how it went down? It's well, first deal. of all, just to go back, I don't think anybody's ever seen anybody shut the freeway down, right? Right. So it's new for everybody. It was a fresh look to raise awareness for the 1.5 million homeless children, and you know we have some really badass music that we love to play and hope everybody enjoys as well. So sitting around hatching that plan. Not to say that. Here's the other thing. We, we were accused of shutting down the freeway. We haven't been convicted of shutting down the freeway. So we're still being accused of that. That's not something that's... It's an alleged has, thing that alleged, the freeway was yeah. shut down. Right. I don't have enough information to talk about that at this point. However, it is about the 1.5 million homeless children in the USA that we're raising awareness for. Now, have, has the money already been delivered to the charity? It has been, um, it has been delivered, the $30,000, and then we will disperse. Mm -hmm. The funds to a number of very uh, hardworking charities. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you guys and you're all suited out because you guys just came from your arraignment, correct? Yeah, fresh out of arraignment. Okay. Got moved to the misdemeanor court, mm -hmm. which is good news for us. So what? Yeah, go. I'm sorry. Okay. You know, there were no guns or drugs or anything involved. You know, we're not that hardcore criminals, and and uh, yeah, like we said, we're still being arraigned and. Now we're in misdemeanor court, which is good news for us. Um, take me through that moment when the, when the cops come and, and the fire trucks come. What are they telling you guys? At that point, they're telling us, you guys need to get down. Now, mind you, this truck is 12 or 14 feet off the floor. It's not like we can just super jump and superhero right off the top of it, right? Right. So we're playing. We can't get down. Um, so we're like, listen, you know, we're playing a show here. You know, we've got a lot of, a lot of fans honking and getting excited about this. So why don't you go get us a ladder? And we'll get down. And to which they responded, 
you know, you guys can go do your thing and then we'll go get a ladder, which actually, was great. Chris said something great, so Chris. Actually, what they said is the, uh, the police officer, I think officer... Adams. Adams, a officer Adams says, you it's know what, you guys got 10 minutes. 10 minutes you guys get down. If you don't get down, we're gonna beanbag you and taser you. So at that point we were like, oh, okay. So they showed up, ladder sets up, and now we're looking at him. Here comes another officer pulling out the gauge on us. It's green gauge, and he's like, we have a, we have a beanbag right now. We're gonna shoot you. So we're yeah. just kind of like stand back. We don't want like, to. We're like, we don't want to get but shot. We have to. You know? He had this look so. on his face like, get some, it's going down. Yeah. <laughs> have any of you guys ever been tased before? No. <laughs> no. 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 I, the with, the little, like with the little one, you know what I mean, on some jackass. Right, you right. Know what I mean? But not like the one that shoots out and projects at you and sticks you in the chest. Flop around <laughs> yeah. like a fish on the, the floor. No, I've yeah. never had that happen, fortunately. So, so the Star Wagon's only actually blocking uh, four lanes, right? Three of the I'm four. I'm sorry, three of the four lanes. Yeah. Yeah. Now, four was that a conscious decision to, to let Absolutely. at least one Absolutely. of the lanes pass by? Absolutely. I think you gotta let a little flow go by because you gotta have, you know, let pe people have places to go. People have uh, people to see. And um, so we wanted to have flow, traffic. Going, and there was no shoulder, unfortunately. Uh -huh. Such a bummer. DJs all across the country, right, are responding and, and kind of talking about this. And there are people that say, you know what, why does a band have to do this kind of stunt or antic, right, to get their music listened to? You know, if, if they're that good, they, don't ha they shouldn't have to do something like this to kind of get attention. What do you say to that? I, I want to say something to that. I think, uh, you know, this is a novelty song. We made this song for the the whole show you know and and I think we it, we, it served its purpose you know um, when they start to hear the rest of our album I think they're gonna be amazed on our, our production and, and the way our album sounds and, and and at that point you know nobody liked Elvis Presley when he came out nobody liked uh, any of these groups when they first come out they, it's, that's how it starts and unfortunately today in the society we're in you know music labels have dropped the bottoms out from under them and it's all about independence so Imperial One Entertainment is pushing down their own independence and how can you hate if you are a DJ I mean you know and if you are hating it's because you just don't have any pull what would have happened if you know there's a there's a pregnant woman that can't get to the hospital in time there's somebody that's diabetic or you know a slew of other possibilities that could have gone on um, and they can only and people are only squeezing through one lane on on one of the country's busiest highways there's a million what ifs hindsight's 2020 right mm -hmm. we can look back and go what if this what if that what if the other thing the great thing is that nothing bad happened and we're happy about that and that the awareness for the 1.5 million homeless children was brought up. Hey, we're, we're the Imperial, Imperial Stars, Stars and you're on rockarazzi.com. Rock 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 Rock